Guys, self-reject way too much. Welcome to Fearless Friday. So I wanna to talk to you guys today about why guys self-reject, how to overcome self-rejection, and how to get the girl more curious about you. First things first, guys self-reject for a whole lot of different reasons, and I see it all the time, especially when we take guys out. It's like, cool man, you went over there, you gave her a compliment, or you stopped her, you approached her, and then you came back like in 30 seconds. What happened? Oh, I went over there and I said this, she said thank you, and then uh, she left. What do you mean she left? What did you say after that? I didn't say anything, why not? I didn't know what to say. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's a very common issue guys have. And they will swear that the girl's rejecting them when it's really them rejecting themselves, and they do it in so many different ways. So I wanted you guys to learn how to overcome that and carry these conversations and see these conversations through. Now, a lot of the problem is guys, because girls are not giving them back too much, <clears throat> they feel like the girl is not showing interest in them. And that's cool, That's it, there's a truth in that. But the reason for that is women are human. They get nervous, they get weirded out. They don't know what to, they don't know how to take compliments. They don't know what to do or what to say sometimes. And that's totally fine. What you have to do as the masculine is have to learn how to not be reactive towards that, but also have the foresight to see that this is going to happen sometimes. Just like you as men, you get nervous. Women get nervous. And so being the masculine, when you see that type of thing, what you have to learn to do is one, ground yourself. We have a whole video on grounding. And two, take the lead and call it out. You're the masculine, right? If anybody's gonna do any calling out in that scenario, it's gonna be the masculine. The woman's not gonna do it. And if you're waiting for that to happen, it's not gonna happen. So if you find a girl who's nervous after you gave her a compliment, maybe she took it really well, then you might say something like, Oh, you're totally shy, I can tell. Like, you're, you're nervous right now. I can totally see you're nervous. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Like, hey, look, my name is Anthony, who are you? I'm just kind of curious about you. I saw you, I thought you were gorgeous. You have to start taking the lead like that because you're opening that door hoping that they're going to fill that space when they're not. Once you open that door and you get them to relax a little bit, then they'll start talking and start asking more questions about yourself just off the sheer fact that you're coming off way more confident because you're in the leadership role of that conversation. The way you lead the conversation or the way you lead to interaction really shows how confident you are. If you get reactive to her, then it's not gonna show well, it's not gonna exude a whole lot of confidence and she's probably gonna get out of it as fast as possible. So one of the things that comes up is the fact that the girls get nervous. So stop getting reactive to girls getting nervous. It's okay that they get nervous. Sometimes you want them to be nervous, that's actually a good thing. Now, why is it so attractive when a guy can pinpoint when a girl's nervous and call it out? Well, because this woman can tell that this guy can actually feel. This guy has a sense of being present in the moment and he can see everything. And that he knows how to calm her down when she gets nervous. And to her, in the long run, that's attractive because you have that skill and the ability to do that. Now, when it comes to putting this into practice for you guys, two things. One, I want you guys to go back and watch the video that I did on what to say to, to the girl, what to say to her. So that way you guys know how to deliver really punching compliments that land and have an effect on women. But two, I want you guys to learn how to lose the reactivity around girls being nervous and realizing that they're not rejecting you when they take the compliment and leave. They just don't know what to do next, right? And it's your job to call that out and have that foresight around it. So the minute you have that foresight around it, you take control of that conversation and that interaction and she wants to talk to you more. That's how you get the girl asking you questions because when you show up like that and you exude confidence, she's like, who is this guy? Why is he so smooth? Why is he so confident? That's the kind of guy that girls wanna be around and it doesn't take much for you to be that guy. It just takes the foresight to realize that girls are being nervous. So as you guys are going out this weekend, I want you guys to do three stops a day using the technique that I gave you guys in the video of what to say to her. And I want you guys to practice that in your approaches and also use the foresight that I'm teaching you in this video so that you guys can learn how to carry on the conversation, okay? So when you start doing that, you'll start to notice girls start to pique interest a lot more in you, and that's what I want you guys to really experience over time. And that's how you start to get girls' numbers. That's how girls start to actually give you their number because that confidence that you're exuding is something that they want to be a part of, okay? So again, go out and do three stops a day using the techniques that I gave you guys in the video that says, what do I say to her? Uh, you should be able to find it in our video playlist if you just go ahead and click the fearless man icon under this video. 
Um, let us know how that's working out for you. Put them in the comments. How are girls responding to you calling out the elephant in the room? Be the masculine, call it out. Are they receptive to it? Are they laughing because you're calling out the elephant in the room? Do you feel them relax and drop down in energy the minute that you call out the elephant in the room so that they're like, oh, okay, this guy gets it. It's okay, it's okay that I'm nervous and then she relaxes and then she wants to talk to you and have a longer conversation, okay? Let us know how that's going for you. Also guys, click the like button so you can continue to get the videos in your feed. I'm gonna be on this channel a whole lot more taking you guys through the journey of approaching um, the way I've learned it and the way that uh, it's been working for me as I go along, okay guys? Also hit subscribe so uh, these videos will pop up for you again. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.